Welcome back and thank you so much for staying with us. Lenso Dingo is our sign language interpreter and we also appreciate all of you who are taking time to interact with us on social media. Thomas Hamisi, now Akilisha Ruaka, Thomas Hamisi once again, thank you so much for watching. Paul Jomo, you're watching from Kisumu. Muna Okoth, you're watching from Siaya County. And Augustine Changalwa, you're watching us from Nalondo Kabuchai. Continue engaging us as we continue updating you on what is happening in the country and beyond. Now to Nyamira County, the government has been urged to restore co-curricular activities and sporting activities in learning institutions in a bid to relieve learners from the current intense classwork. The Kenya Union of Post-Primary Education teachers argue that extracurricular activities in schools will help in curbing infrastructural destruction and unruly behavior among learners. Kupet Kisi's branch chairman, Labano Uko, is appealing to the Ministry of Education to allow institutions to resume extracurricular activities to allow learners to take a break from books and freshen their minds. It is important for us to bring back co-curricular activities and sports as a way of steaming off the students. Because of the busy schedule we are having and the tight programs in schools, it is necessary that now they have some sports, some co-curricular competitions, so that they steam off and when they go back to school, at least they are relaxed. Ooko is also advocating for a half-term break to enable learners cool off from the squeezed school timetables. He is also appealing for the improvement of guidance and counseling departments so as to manage stress levels among learners. We need to consider having at least three days half-term break because of this crash program so that the students can ease off because we all do not want to see continuous destruction of property because our students had been used to staying at home for far too long they stayed at home for a whole nine months, which uh, anyone will want to go home very fast because they had gotten used to, to the home life. These as over 1,200 early childhood education teachers from Kiambu sub-counties received employment letters from Kiambu County Governor James Nyoro. <laughs> The teachers could not hide their joy as they showcased their passion to serve children. Speaking during the event, the governor said he would ensure that teachers work in a conducive environment as plans are underway to improve infrastructure. Water must be connected to our ECDs. At a primary school, it, uh, it a benefit in Isawa. And we are going to talk to the, with our water companies and I'm going to give them instructions to make sure that all our schools are connected with water and not just schools in Meenda Mpaka Kwa ECD. Ili watoto waanze kujua sanitation inaenda na mnagani. Beatrice Gatonyangetich, Channel 1 News.